Hey guys, so today we're talking about a special sound. We're talking about the sound, uh, and that sound can be made a couple different ways. The main way that we make it, it was, is with two O's. Now there's another sound that uses two O's. Look right here in the middle where we've got spoon and we've got book. So there's two ways, two sounds, I guess I should say, that come from this O-O. One can be ooh, ooh, like the long U sound, like E-W and U-E and O-O, they make ooh, like in spoon or moon. But another way can be uh, uh. O-O can make uh. It can make it in book or foot. It's making that uh sound. We're going to be listening for the uh sound as we practice this week. There's two other ways that make the uh sound as well. And it's O-U-L, O-U-L, like in the word could, k, uh, d, or in the word should, sh, uh, d. Also, when we have a U and then two consonants, like in the word pull, p, uh, uh, or in the word full, f, uh, uh. So there's different kinds of ways to make this sound. The sound that we're making this week is uh, and we can make that through O O O U L or U consonant consonant. So let's practice listening for the uh sound. The first word we have is foot, foot. Where do you hear the uh sound? We hear it in the middle. So foot gets moved to the middle because we hear uh in the middle. Next word is, this looks like wool, wool, w, uh, wool. Where do you hear the uh sound? We hear it in the middle, so we put it in the middle. Now we've got cookie, cookie, k, u, k, e. So where can I put cookie? Where do you hear u? Uh? Again, we hear it in the middle. All right, let's do this word. This word is brook, brook. B, er, uh, k. We hear uh in the middle. We're going to run out of space in the middle, aren't we? Let's go up here to the word shoe. Shoe. Where do you hear uh in shoe? We don't hear it at all, so it has no focus sound. This word is bush. Bush. Where do you hear uh in bush? B -ush. We hear it in the middle, so I'll put it right here. Well, put it right here in the middle. Please stay where you're supposed to be, little picture. Okay, well, y'all know it's the middle. So it goes in the middle. Okay. And our last word is hook. Hook. Where do you hear the uh sound in hook? Again, we've got another middle. So it goes in the middle as well. All right, let's sort a few words and think about the uh sound. Remember, there's three ways to make this sound. It can be O-O, it can be O-U-L, or it can be U, consonant, consonant. So let's 
sort these words. Take a second to read the words to yourself. All right, our first word is took. T -uk. Where would I sort took? It goes in the OO category. Good job. The next word is could. Could. Where do I sort could? It goes in the O-U-L category. Good job. Next word is pull. Pull. Where do I sort pull? It goes in the U consonant consonant um, column. P -u -u. Those two L's are consonants. Food, food. Does food f -u -d, have the U sound? No, it doesn't. So it goes to no focus sound. Sorry, food. See you next time. Next word is hood. Hood. Where does it go? It goes with the OO saying uh. And then looks. Look. Where would looks go? Looks get sorted into the OO category as well. All right. So we've got a couple of ways that we can spell the U uh sound. OO, -O, O U L, and U consonant consonant. Remember that OO also makes another sound. It makes ooh. So you have to be careful when you're reading. Think about which sound could it be. All right. Well, thank y'all for listening to this phonics lesson, and I will see you guys next time that we do phonics. Bye.